welcome to October 1st, 1942. Royal Air Force, Biggin Hill. I don't know what all Air Force stands for. I assume that's what that's for. Home of number 340, Le de France Squadron. And number 611, West Lancashire Squadron. And their motto. What is their motto? Beware! Beware! Dun dun dun! Sorry about that. Pretty hyped. But uh, we are jumping into a World War II campaign. Quite a change from the A 10 Charlie. But, uh,. The whole point is, is to go to the oldest, historically, Squadron campaign. Leader Armstrong, Pilot Officer Leach reporting for duty, sir. I'm Squadron Leader Armstrong, but the chaps call me Sinker. Blimey, how old are you, son? Turned 19 in September, sir. Christ, fresh are they the twins? Cradle. And we're giving you a thousand horsepowers, two cannon and four machine gun to play with? What a way to win a war. Say, how many yeah, hours do you have in this field? Three. About eleven, sir. Oh. Oh, he's got me beat. That's not nearly enough. Yeah, it's I need enough. you on flying duty as of tomorrow. Listen, this is my personal spitty here. Jump into it and make two landings smooth as silk. If you prang it, you'll wish you were never born, understood? I'll be in the tower on channel A for Abel. In the yes, tower sir. on channel A for Abel. <whistles> Loaded next scene, stand by. I assume this private will now jump into that Spitfire. Oh, holy smikies. Alright. This time I'm hoping all my bindings set and uh, remained set. And do a pre flight check. Couple landings in a pattern. Call it a day for the intro mission. Alright, first things first. Let's make sure things are. Looking good. Alright, I think that's everything that I stole. Uh, I bound earlier, so good. Good. Things are looking Morning, good. Morning, sir. Nice day for it. It is a nice right. day. You look a little nervous. I am nervous. Undercarriage. Uh, Let's get you sorted out, sir. Sure, sure. I've done my homework, you know. That's good, sir. Don't worry, you won't be flying her. She'll be flying you. Just give her a good old glass for <laughs> She's a greedy cow. Right. <sighs> All right, let's check the uh, controls here. We'll look in the mirror right up there, and uh, rudder. Rudder looks good. Elevators. Elevators look good. Aileron. My right aileron looks good. And so does my left. Alright. Confirmed magnetos are off. Fuel tank pressure is off. Brake air pressure. That's great. Alright. About 250 pounds is what we're looking for. Yep. I uh, assume that's what I've got. I wonder if I could figure out what that scale actually is. Another time. But I have brakes. Alright, let's check the flaps. Alright, that little uh, flap indicator is working, which is good. Flaps back up. My flaps indicator go away. Great. Alright, let's check the canopy. That works. Fantastic. All right, let's put the throttle forward until that light comes on. There we are. 
All right, confirmed the down lights come on and the fuel pressure warning light has come on. All right, let's check the fuel. Fuel looks good, we have a full tank. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set the parking brake. Those ways to do that. Actually, you know what? I'll do something smart here. I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to the stick here just in case I think it makes it easier what button is that? I already have it bound what's button 21? oh okay cool what I do is press it, hold it down and scroll to the right nope that's not working so let's go back there adjust controls press that and we're gonna unbind that and let's bind the increase and decrease all right thank you let's do that so now I'm just go ahead and do this and the brake will hold until I pull the lever on the stick good all right, let's turn the main tank on, which is uh, right there. Good. Main tank is on. Throttle forward one half inch. Not sure what a whole half inch is, but that looks good. Propeller lever is full forward. All right, carburetor air filter. Filtered. Primer pump as required. I think today is a 16 degrees Celsius day, so we'll do. We'll call it five pumps. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And let's lock that. All right, let's get the wobble pump going. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuel pressure light as extinguished. Very good. All right, magneto one on. All clear. Switches on. Magneto two on. Switches are on. Starter and booster covers. Let's open those. Hold these switches up. But uh, there we go. All right. After this first spark mixture control run, actually, let's make sure the mixture is in full. There we go. Full idle. I just want it to match what I've got here. Basically, just a toggle, but that's all right. So I'm going to flip up on the starter and the booster, press them at the same time, and mixture to full forward position, and then idle the brakes after that. Wait idle the throttle and make sure I stay on the brakes. That was a weird Phrygian slip. Anyways, here we go. Alright. Okay, we are restarting the mission. Great. Isn't that awesome? I think that's awesome. <sighs> I feel really fucking stupid. Okay, back here. Just the way we want it. sir. Nice day for it. You're right. You look a little nervous. Cool, we pretend we're doing all that. Great. Uh, I'm alright. Let's get you sorted out, sir. I've done my homework, you know. That's good, sir. Don't worry, you won't be flying her. She'll be flying you. Har, har, She's har, har. Glass for... <laughs> She's a greedy cow. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. We're good. We're good. Let's stay zen. We skip a few of the things there, but. 
Are you alright there, pal? My goodness, he's a ghost. A real ass ghost. Alright, excuse me for a moment. People, people, people. Life is grand, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the primer. No, wait. Nope, 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 nope. This is why we have a checklist. Throttle's only going to be up about a half inch. Main tank is on. Maintain confirmed on. Propeller. Full forward. Alright. Uh, where was that? Carburetor filter is filtered. Carburetor air filtered, excuse me. Alright, now we can prime. No. Parking brake. There we go. Very good. Very good. Alright. Am I missing anything? I feel like we're just blazing through this which is reckless very reckless one two three four five and lock the primer well pump one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fuel pressure warning light is extinguished all right. Haven't missed anything this time. Okay, so switch is on. All clear. Switch is on. Very good. Start a booster covers open. Very good. All right, after first spark. Whew. Hope the throttle's back far enough. There's my RPM gauge. Alright, let's see. Much better this time. Didn't just careen down into the grass, which was, uh, didn't happen actually. No one saw that, right? I'm gonna check chat. From what I can see, no one saw that. Good. Excellent. Fantastic. No witnesses means it didn't happen. Alrighty. Let's close the fuel, or the starter and the booster covers. Throttle is set to idle. Alright, and we want the oil pressure to come up. Oil temperature to come up. Alright. Um, we want to be between 60 to 100 tweet, 120 feet pounds per inch square. Okay. Um, where is oil pressure on the gauge here? You know, it's another thing I'm pretty embarrassed about that I don't know. But while I'm looking over here, I'm going to go ahead and set the elevator trim to neutral. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and set the rudder trim. Alright, uh, let's get back to the actual checklist and uh, let's see what we got here. Starter and booster are closed. Fuel pump. Fuel pump on. Wait. That's the fuel tank pressure. Where's the fuel pump? I make sure I grab the right things, you know. Fuel 
bump on off or toggle do I have that bound somewhere allegedly I do on the throttle 46 and 47 Pedo heat radiator okay off on is down all right there it is fuel pump is now on all right radiator flap is set to off yep pedo is as needed primer is screwed on we want the coolant temperature and the oil temperature between 60 and 120 degrees Celsius, 20 and 80 degrees Celsius. All right, oil temperature is here, it's come up to 20. Radiator temperature is still coming up, which is gonna take a little while. Propeller is full forward. Gun safety is on. Canopy is open. Let's go ahead and set radio A. For Able or Alpha, the days before that happened. All right, uh, pedo heat, oxygen valve, compass. All right, let's align the compass. We want the cross aligned with the north indicator there. And the lubber line looks like it's pointing to just about south, so I would call it. 74 and looks like we're about I'm facing one five one six one seven just before the four okay the directional gyro is set altimeter pressure is going to be set so that we're in altitude of zero beautiful okay directional gyro has been aligned Holding the brakes and stick. Oh, that's uh, what we'll do if we're gonna taxi. All right. Uh, well, okay, full right rudder, and now back up to the port is on top. Excellent. Okay, elevator trim is confirmed neutral. I go ahead and turn my nav lights on. Awesome. Okay, even though that's not on there. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. Excuse me. Okay, flaps are up. Supercharger is set to auto. Alright, before takeoff we will close it, but they're not just yet. Alright, I believe we are ready to taxi. One last check around the cockpit. Uh, temperature's done, they really come up. Coolant's gotta be between 60 to 120. Oil temperature is good at least between 20 to 100 or 20 to 80. Well, I uh, I think if I move, that would be good. All right, and for good mission, let's go ahead and uh, turn the gun sight on. Actually, we don't need the gun sight on, do we? Now we're calling F Freddy. Are you receiving? Yes, I am. Hello, tower. Receiving you loud and clear. Okay, seven pounds of boost. Take off, Roger. Or seven plus boost. That's all right. I can do that. Let's close that so I can actually see where I'm taxiing. Look at those flames coming out of that Merlin engine. That's awesome. Yeah, 
The ground control in the Spitfire isn't anything to be envious of. All right, we're lining up on runway three zero. Let's make sure my uh, gyro is all right. It is. All right, just a moment. All right, and the plane is facing three zero. Right. No, I don't believe it is. I don't know if I set that correctly. So, that's something I'm going to have to look up into. Let's see. If I line it up like this... Hmm. Where do I want the lubber line facing three zero zero? Well, that's at two ninety actually right now. No, not quite like that. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look up uh, how to exactly tune that, but uh, let's see here. My goal is to not get lost. I do not want to take off and lose sight of where I'm at. But first, as a... Okay, people, I, uh, I think we're ready. Okay, so we're going to use plus seven boost, at least no greater than that. And uh, with, with warbirds, taking off can be pretty tricky. So let's go ahead and close the canopy. Oh, whoop. Let's hit the right key bind. There we go. All right, canopy is closed. Find this thing like I'm a wild goose. All right, keep my eyes on it. I don't want to lose sight of the runway, especially in uh, foggy conditions here. Stay in the pattern. I'm gonna use the wingtip here as my gauge. Get a good feel of the surroundings.
120 miles an hour. All right, let's go gear it down again. It's not really uh, the smoothest pattern, but that's okay. We're learning. Okay, speed is coming down. Alright, we want to go for a three point line. 95 miles over the fence, then cut the throttle, wings level, three point attitude. Not the worst landing. That was a bloody disgrace. Go around for another one. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yes sir. <laughs> oh. All right. We're alive. All right, this is uh quite one way to learn. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's be all right. Let's get things together here. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, let's go down to the end of the runway. And we'll turn around and uh get another takeoff here and Let's actually get a real pattern, so we uh, don't make a fool of ourselves and boss doesn't call me some names there. Flaps back up. Better at taxiing, somewhat. Alright. All right, runway three zero. We'll turn around. Should be able to just swing it around by uh, pulling the brake like this. Just a moment. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Alright, cool. We're good. Somewhat. Okay. Line up with the runway. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and close the canopy. Let's uh, look at the actual checklist here and. Uh, Hold the stick aft, throttle up to 8 to 12 pounds, slowly release the stick to raise the tail, lift off at 90 to 95 miles per hour, and raise the undercarriage. Don't climb immediately after lift off, accelerate to 140, then climb. Copy that. I think that all works for me. 
Okay, so we heard it. We got the news that we want to do things that way. Let's release the brakes. Let's close that. Canopy is closed. Here goes another takeoff. RPMs back. We reached 140. We can start climbing. 200 feet. It's not boosting him. We got that big brown patch of grass right there. We'll keep it. Try to keep it in sight. Crosswind, and now uh, just going to the downwind. Okay, I need a little left rudder trim, some nose up trim. Okay, she's flying pretty steady. All right, keeping my wing there under runway. We are good. We can uh, go ahead and enter the base leg. Okay, we're gonna have to fly the pattern we're too high here. So let's get the RPMs back up. 24. Okay, I'd rather fly a good pattern than not. But I am still climbing, so a little nose down trim. Okay, overflying the runway now. Nice and easy does it. You're right, nice and easy does it. Okay, we're at 140 miles an hour. I'm much more comfortable with that. I'm gonna keep the speed up, so I'm gonna go to minus two. Maybe zero. Okay. Use this as a reference to turn. Degrees, perfect. And then now uh, let's go downwind for runway three zero. All right, left downwind for runway three zero. Okay, keeping good speed. BMs can come down a little more. Flaps. I'm going to extend my downwind a little bit. So I have a little steadier approach. Alright, hand on the gear. Just drop the gear. Okay, and don't want to stall on the base to final. So a little more throttle. Nice shallow turn. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and pull power a little bit more. RPMs all the way back. We 
we have the runway made. I think that was much better. Okay, that was slightly better. Taxi back, shut her down. Come see me in my office. Yes, sir. Totally meant to turn around right there on the runway. Okay, well, you know, I think I can survive this uh, campaign. It's definitely scary taxing these um, behemoths. Definitely scary. World War II pilots had different kind of cojones. Alright, flaps back up. And, uh, let's taxi back now. We were parked somewhere there on the grass. Where, I do not remember. Alright, let's not jack up the propeller by braking too hard. <coughs> I think those two gentlemen are a good indicator of where I need to go. Or it could be down there. I mean, I didn't have to taxi that far, so I'm thinking it's over here. Okay, cool. Alright, shut down. We idle at 1,000 RPM. Cool the engine for two to three minutes. Let's pretend we did that. Mixture to idle cutoff. RPM fully back. And engines off. Magnetos one and two off. And fuel off. Okay, and pump off. Um, cool. And uh, we'll go see him back at the office now. That wasn't terribly scary. I mean, I'll, I'm totally fine. I'm not scared. Hey, hey. We got 100. Very good. All right. Well, I know I said I was going to go ahead and uh, fly mission one as part of this stream, but not this time. Oh, thank you, uh, Pui Master. It is quite the setup. A um, little overkill for World War II planes, but, uh, you know, instead of flying an F-18 or an A-10 today, I thought we'd go back to World War II. But, we'll see how we're done. It's only, uh, oh, well, it's 11 o'clock local time, so not sure I'm going to be getting another flight in tonight. But, to those that tuned in, thank you. I appreciate you. Hope you had fun watching me try to do a couple uh, landings in the spit. But uh, next thing we'll be doing is actually flying a real mission for the Beware Beware campaign. Thanks, and have a great rest of your evening. <laughs>